So this is uh, 2019, uh, paper two, question number 21. We are told a workshop makes cardboards and tables using two accents A and B. Every cardboard made requires three days of work by accent A and two days of work by accent B. Every table makes made requires two days by accent A and two days by of work or by Atsan B. In one month, Atsan A worked for less than 24 hours, while Atsan B worked for not more than 18 days. The workshop made X cupboards and Y tables in that month. Uh, A, write all the inequalities which must be satisfied by X and Y. So we can do that by saying that uh, first of all, we have x is greater or equals to zero and y is greater or equals to zero uh, then we can form uh, two other inequalities we can say 2x the number of uh, cables plus 2y uh, are less than or equals to 18 the number of days worked by by uh, by b and then we can form another one and say this is equals to x plus y uh, that is uh, 2x 2x uh, that 2x uh, 3x plus 2y is less than 24 the number of days worked by a so with these inequalities we can uh, draw lines uh, so this one, we ca we ca since it is a linear equation, uh, which we can write as uh, uh, x, 2x plus 2y is equal to 18. Uh, once you substitute, you can get x and y. Uh, so when x, uh, when x is uh, 0, we can say this is 12. Uh, when x is... Uh, when x is uh, 1, y is 8, and when x is 9, y is 0. So we can get that. We can also uh, uh, get the, the, the graph for this by first of all making a table, which is, uh, we can say x and y. So when x is 0, this is 12. When x is 4, uh, y is 6 and uh, when uh, a x is 8 uh, y is 0 this is from uh, uh, this can be we are getting this from the in linear in equ equation x plus 2y is equal to 24 so that's what we are substituting then with that we are going to plot the graphs of this and see how they look like so this is a graph that i'm going to use so i'll start uh, by putting my axis so that is starting point one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen that is uh, my y-axis always remember to label your axis so we have one uh, two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and that is my x-axis. Uh, so having our my x-axis, uh, I'll start by uh, shading off, uh, this is x0, uh, shading off this uh, axis. So I drew a line uh, at the x-axis and the y-axis and then the, I shade the unwanted side. These are the lines of y greater than uh, 0 and x greater than 0 and they are complete lines because of uh, inequality. So we shade off the unwanted side. And then we are going to plot uh, the other two lines. So the other one is uh, when x is 0, y is 12. Uh, so that's where we have our 
our point uh, when x is 4, y is 6 uh, 4, y is 6 uh, that's where we have the other point and when x is 8, y is 0 when x is 8, y is 0 so we are going to join these three points and then we shade off this will be a complete line because our symbol here is uh, less than or equals to so we draw that line so this is our line which is a complete line and you can choose a point to test your 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 the side that, that needs to shade off or the unwanted side so if we take for example 5 and 8 uh, we can say 3 times 5 that is this point 3 times 5 that is 15 plus uh, 8 times 2 that is 16 that will be 32 is 32 less than 18 no so that side does not we confirm we can take 0 0 uh, 3 times 0 is 0 plus 2 times 0 is 0 uh, that is the origin uh, is 0 less than 18 yes so it means this is a side that does not satisfy our inequality so we shade off uh, that side and we will come up with that kind of a graph the other one is uh, the other one is uh, we get it is uh, when x is 0 uh, y is 9 when x is 0 y is 9 so we have that point when x is uh, 1 uh, y is 8 so x is 1 y is 8 that is our point uh, maybe we use a more uh, we use a more uh, visible color so that point this point and lastly when x is 9 y is 0 so that point so we are going to join the three points to come up with the inequality line and this one will be a dotted line because uh, uh, because of the symbol it is less than so let's do that so this is our line which is dotted and now we check the side that uh, we are going to shade off we can start from the zero zero we substitute here two times zero is zero uh, two times zero is zero so zero plus zero is zero is less than 25 that is true we confirm uh, with the other side for example we can take that point when x is four, 4 y is 9 so this is 2 times 4 that is 8 plus 18 uh, plus 18 uh, that will be 24 that is 2 times 4 that is 8 uh, 9 times 2 is 18 so 18 is not less than 24 so we can say that uh, this side does not satisfy our inequality so we shade off that side so we now have our region uh, this is our region and uh, which are defined which is defined by the by the inequalities that we have so we go to back to the question and see the other part of the question so part C of the question we are told the workshop made a profit of 6,000 Kenyan shillings on each cupboard and 4,000 Kenyan shillings on each table. Find the number of cupboards and the number of tables that must be made for maximum profit and hence determine the maximum profit. Uh, so we are going to take uh, two points uh, that is up one point we can take one and one and therefore the objective function This is a function that is uh, going to help us get the profit. We can say 6,000 x plus 4,000 y is equal. So you multiply 6,000 times 1, that is 6,000. Uh, 4,000 times 1, that is uh, 4,000. You add, you get 10,000. You can simplify this by dividing by 1,000 then by 2 and you get our function is 3x plus 2y is equals to 5 uh, we brought this so we are going to make a table uh, this is a linear graph so we have our x and our y so when x is 0 
this will be 5 divided by 2 that will give us 2.5 when x is uh, we can say when x is 1 uh, we get uh, y is also a 1 and when x is uh, can use minus 1 uh, y is 4 uh, so we are going to plot this and then uh, using a set square and a ruler uh, you drag until the last point that will be touched by the edge of the uh, th uh, square, uh, set square so let's do this on uh, the graph paper so we are going to plot the line I've already inserted the the, the, the our equation here and our values so when x is 0 uh, y is 2.5 that is our point when x is 1 y is 1 and when x is minus 1 minus 1 is here y is 4 so we are going to join the three points to come up with the objective function uh, and then uh, we see how, how it looks like so this is the line that you get that is a uh, 3x uh, plus 2y is equals to 5 uh, we were supposed also to label these uh, graphs and uh, this is a graph of uh, uh, we have the first one which is uh, uh, 3x uh, plus 2y uh, less than or equals to 18 and uh, also the graph uh, this graph here is we have it is 2x uh, plus 2y is less than 18 so you are supposed to label your graphs like that uh, so what you do after this is you place your ruler along this line uh, then you you place a set square at the edge of the ruler and you drag it and get the, uh, the, the last point that will be touched by the edge of the uh, square and that point when you do that is actually uh, 5 x is 5 and y is 4 uh, that is uh, the, the, the point that will be touched by the edge of the set square and uh, since we are required to find the profit then we will say uh, the profit is 6000 times 5 plus uh, 4000 times 4 and when you calculate that you get it's 46000 so that is how you work out that question and uh, you get yourself 10 marks so i hope you have followed the only part here is uh, maybe you can consult your math teacher maybe how to press uh, the set square on the and the ruler and be able to identify this place uh, but maybe later once i get uh, a better way of doing it uh, we will be able to look at uh, several other questions like this ones so you are all welcome this is teacher Omta creations you can get me through that number thank you